And new on the 19th, the long awaited answer from JCPS tonight. The district has finally officially given the green light for high school sports to play this fall. After much debate, the board approved a phased in approach with each of the sports seeing some different rules. The night team's Tyler Emery covered the meeting and tells us when the first kickoff will happen. It will look different, but Jefferson County Public High Schools will see athletes on their fields. After two hours of discussion, the JCPS board voted 5-2 to two in favor of a phased-in approach to fall sports, which came at the recommendation of Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio. None of the decisions that we are making are about politics. I want to be clear on that. Polio and board members were not happy that the KHSAA chose to move forward with all fall sports starting practices today, which is why the district came up up with its own plan. Folks at some other levels have essentially punted on these decisions and left them to local boards of education. I'm not going to say that there won't be cases that we will have to respond to and possibly make tough decisions, but I definitely think in a controlled environment we can do this where we could not have 2,000 kids in a school building. Under the new plan, low contact sports like cross country and field hockey can start practice Tuesday with games starting September 8th. High contact sports, volleyball and soccer can start practices September 7th with games starting the following week. Football has a phased in schedule with non-contact conditioning starting Tuesday and games starting the latest in the season on September 18th. We have to have COVID police in our district. We have to hold our coaches accountable in a way that they've not been held accountable before. The phased in plan would limit fall sports to two levels, freshman, sophomore and varsity. It also includes safety guidelines, which board members say have to be strictly enforced if the district can move forward. What would end the season for everyone would be not following protocols, guidelines, um, contact tracing. That will be the quickest way to end it for everyone. The district says it will take action to remove players from teams or spectators from the stands if any of the safety guidelines aren't followed. It also may decide to cancel away games if other districts in the state are seeing too many cases. For the night team, Tyler Emery.